Welcome to the second video in our Bandblade series. Today we're gonna mask for the camo. We use masking tape, I use some from Tamiya, and a scalpel, that's all we need today. I use broad masking tape to get out bigger stripes of it when I have cut it. And we start taping it to our working surface. We lower the adhesive power with its step, so we don't rip the paint from our tank. It's good to go safe here. Also, it's a real easy way to cut the pattern we want. I cut lines into the masking tape. And the kind of lines you're cutting here depends on the camo you want to have. Um, it looks like many, many mountains. And it's that zigzag pattern that all my Acadian band blades and lemon rust use. Um, you can see it better when I remove the tape. You could also draw cur uh, curves with your scalpel here if you want that kind of camo. It really depends on what you chose. Um, I cut the whole thing into shorter sections because I won't need the full line for an area of the tank. And I remove the masking tape from my surface and now you can see what I meant with the mountain pattern. And I start putting the tape to the tank. Um, the areas that we leave free will get the white camo paint and everything that shall remain green we have to tape it. And there's no rule on how to do this, just play around and see that you like the pattern that emerges. I really don't plan this. It just comes out while working on it. It's important that you make sure that the tape sticks to your model, especially when you get to details like hatches or raised parts. And I use a wood stick to flatten the edges of the tape so that it really sticks to our model. If you don't do this, spray paint can come under your masking tape and that will really destroy all the effort we are putting in here. Also, if you have hard lines and edges, like in the middle panel, the wood stick will help us really stick it there. We also have an article to the topic on our blog in the tutorial section where you can see how the wood stick can be used for panel lines and tell vehicles where I used it, Elder would be also a good use for that. If you want to close gaps or have a bit of green in that big field, feel free to just cut a rectangular and put it there. You will get a feeling for that. And the main thing is that you like the patterns that emerge. Now we simply repeat that over the whole tank. And I won't show everything because I think you get the point here and it would make the video unnecessary long. Um, yeah, there's no special reason why I glue that in place now. It just broke off while handling the model.
I think you see what I'm doing here. All the areas that should remain green will have to be taped completely because you don't want a single point of overspray there and believe me even if you think you can aim so good with your airbrush sometimes you can't. I hope that helps and see you soon for the third part spraying the white camera.